It is 35 to 8. 35 to 8. <laughs> that doesn't sum up how early it is, I don't know. I, I don't do mornings. <laughs> Welcome back to It's Not A Trumpet, where we talk about brass bands, mental health and everything in between. It's been a while since I made content of any kind, actually. Uh, whether that be a blog, a video, a vlog, whatever. Yeah, it's, 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 it's been busy. We've been busy. If you don't know, moved to a different band. I am now playing flugel for the Wingates band, which is very exciting. Today, we are having a banding vlog. This is the beginning of a banding vlog. I'm actually going to take you somewhere. I'm actually doing something that I set this YouTube channel up for. Um, and obviously, because this is now the 6th of November, it is now Christmas. We've had Halloween, bonfire night is done and dusted, and we're now into Christmas. It was one of those videos that I wasn't sure if I was going to be allowed to make or not because um, there's a lot of other filming that goes on in it. It's quite a big project. Um, and obviously everything has to go smoothly and I wasn't sure if we were keeping this project under wraps. Um, or whether we were letting people know about it and I found out today we were letting people know about it so I asked, do you want me to do a vlog? Um, and, and the band said yes. So, I'll stop with you and actually tell you what we're doing. So, the Wingates band, we are doing a recording tomorrow. It's going to be a video concert that's going to go up on YouTube um, that anybody can watch and it's going to be a, a full, full programme, a full concert programme. Um, so, today was all about going and setting up the venue and making it look all festive and Christmassy. And we went down, um, quite a few of us from the band, went down to the venue, which is the Bolton Masonic Hall, um, which is a really nice building actually, which you'll see tomorrow when I take you with me. Um, you will see as well, we have decked it out. It looks, oh, it looks so pretty and cozy. I was responsible for putting one of the trees up. Melanie, our solar home, was responsible for the other and they both look very good in our opinion. We think we look fab. My last job on Christmas tree duty is to put the stars on top tomorrow. I think that's probably come down to my height more than anything else. <laughs> but I've got that responsibility tomorrow. It does look like something, you know those Michael Bublé Christmas specials? Yeah, that kind of vibe. <laughs> like apart from the masses of percussion at the back of the room and obviously the chairs set out for a, a brass band. We kind of took those away. It, it did look like Michael Bublé was going to strut on at any point. That's if he's defrosted. We're still kind of a bit early for Bublé. He might not have quite thawed out just yet, but any day now. Apparently he's got a new album out as well. Anyway, not promoting him, promoting us. And my job is to show you the behind the scenes. I'm Taylor, who is our composer in residence. So in the last video that I made, the Brass Pass video, and I went on and on and on about um, his arrangement of Millionaire's Waltz. Yes, he was responsible for that. And he is responsible for doing our, basically our recording tomorrow, our visual and audio. Our visual and audio? Englishly. Our visuals and our audio, he is basically the producer and director of tomorrow. Um, so I'm going to try and see if I can get a little, some shots of him doing his thing tomorrow. And some shots of sort of the band getting ready and the room that it's in. And basically as much of the behind the scenes stuff as I can get. Because I think that'd be a really cool thing to show you. Like this is what I'm really excited about. Obviously I'm excited about the playing. Um, but I'm excited about the whole process because I've never done like a proper video recording before like this. Um, like a full concert that's been recorded. I'm, I'm really excited to just see how it's all going to work. And um, tomorrow as well, as part of the programme, the, the programme is lush by the way, so make sure you keep an eye out when this video goes live. It's, oh, it's such a good programme. Um, to play and both to listen to, like even if I wasn't playing in the band and this was something that was being advertised by another band, like I would want to listen to it just because of the programme. Like, it's got a good mix of older music, but also newer, what do you want to call it? Christmas cheese. And on this programme, there are two of my favourite pieces of all time. I mean, can you call the second piece a piece, really? But one of them is a proper banding stalwart piece of repertoire, um, which was one of the first test pieces I ever learnt to play, just to give that, give a little hint there. It's, oh, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous piece to play. I've never played the flugel part to it, and I love the piece even more now I've played the flugel part. It's so good. And then on the opposite side of the spectrum, from the sublime to the ridiculous, the other piece that is one of my favourite pieces of all time is the cheesiest, in my opinion, the cheesiest of the cheese Christmas songs you can get. To give you a hint, it's a song that's in Spanish. Probably know which one it is, but it is like like the arrangement. I mean, the original song itself is cheese on cheese, but this arrangement, I love it because it is literally like a hunk of cheddar wrapped in gorgonzola and dipped in Dairy Lee kind of cheese. It's just... And I think I'm literally the only person in the band that likes it. I don't think I've actually admitted to them that I like this piece. 
So if they're watching this now, just outed myself as someone with no musical taste at all. Me, a part of the programme, me and Rob have got a uh, duet, which will be really nice. And I'm really excited. I'm excited, but I'm also really nervous because it's one of them, like, when you're doing a recording, the last thing you want to do is have to repeat things and go back and do it again and go back and do it again. So there's always that bit of a stress. If you've got any kind of solo or exposed part or whatever, that you're the one that's going to cause us to have to go over it again. So I'm probably going to be going through that in my head tonight, every single note. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So now it's currently, it's 11.03. Um, it's late. I need to go to bed because we're up at six tomorrow. And for anybody who knows me, knows that it's six o'clock in the morning, that is still night time. And the thing is I have to get up and put makeup on to motivate myself up tomorrow. But I will apologise, the next time that you will see me, I probably look like something that has been dug up from a peat bog in the morning. But, very excited. Very excited. Christmas literally starts tomorrow. So this is going to be fun. So, with that being said, I will go and sort myself out, get ready for bed. Maybe a cheeky hot chocolate, get myself into the festive mood. Um, and then I'm going to sleep. And I will see you in the morning. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. The night. Good morning. It is 35 to 8. 35 to 8. <laughs> that doesn't sum up how early it is, I don't know. I, I don't do mornings. It's 25 to 8 on Sunday, the 7th of November. As you can see, I've got a protective Gryffindor shirt over the top of my actual band shirt because I am terrified of spilling or getting makeup on it or something going wrong. So this is the attire for today. Here we go. I have been entrusted with lunch for today. So at Wingate's Band, we care about our players. We feed them during recording days. So um, I think one of us is making a chilli, one of us is making a potato hash, which I'm very... And also we've made, well, I say we, Rob, has made, um, basically it's going to be pulled ham to go on sandwiches. Um, but I've been entrusted with carrying it. So whether it gets there in one piece is yet to be seen. Yes, it's going to be exciting. It's going to be a good day. Christmas is starting now. Thank <laughs> you.